What's today? What's today, Ray? <laughs> I don't know. It's Monday, y'all. April. Uh, I don't know. Is it the 12th? Yeah, it's the 12th. And it is 9.14 in the morning. Ronnie, I'm, we're actually doing drop-off together. Um, because, well, first we're going to go to Costco to get her some more cough syrup, the Zarbies, because she used it all and she woke up. She's so congested. She's been sneezing all morning, all this snot everywhere. Um, it's good that she's sneezing because, you know, she can't really blow her nose and I can't get up there and get it. But the amount of, like, green snot is just grossing me out. But anyway... We're gonna head over to Nana Daycare after we grab um, some more medicine from Costco because they sell it in a, a two-pack. But we are taking both cars because later on, later on, probably around three o'clock, we are going to Middleburg, Virginia to pick up my Z Gallery Sequoia console table. You guys, I found one late, well, it was early this morning, at like 2 a.m. I woke up and I was like, let me check Facebook Marketplace. And someone had listed one and a bunch of other stuff as well um, for $2. I mean, I said for $2, two days ago. Um, and she listed it for $7.50. And I was like, oh, would you be willing to sell it for $6? Thinking, I really want to get this table for $6.50. And she came back and said, the lowest she would want to sell it for is $6.50. I said, so. So I sent her the money. And we're going to go pick it up later. Stacy hit me up today and asked me to watch Harper for an hour for her while she runs an errand. So Harper will be over at some point. I think she said at 2 o'clock, but I'm not really sure. I don't remember. But anyway, I'll be home. And then after Stacy picks her up, we're going to head to get the table. And I'm going to leave my cards this morning at his mom's house because um, we pass his mom's house on the way to Virginia. And then we pass it on the way back from Virginia. So on the way back from getting the table, we're just going to up his nephew drop him off like we do every day and then um, pick up Ray and then I'll be able to drive her home because there's no seats in his van no back seats so we can't bring her home in the van so I'm gonna leave my car at her house today and um, we'll just grab it on the way back that's what's gonna happen so yeah yeah we're excited I'm excited I finally got my table because the other lady that um, we were reaching out to like she there was a language barrier um, because she was a different ethnic, ethnicity and then she was just like I don't think she understood read or wrote English that well but then she was still contradicting herself she was not getting back for like days at a time and she listed the things separately but then said no you couldn't buy them separately but then she was telling the other person that was like basically piggybacking with me in the app she was telling them something totally different like she just was not consistent and then I never heard from her again. And then she told me sorry when I said I only wanted the coffee table, I mean the console table and not the end tables, but they were listed as separate things with separate prices. So I was confused. She really stopped responding and everything. So when I saw this one, I was like, I can cash out you now. So I actually paid for the table and I haven't even went and got it yet. But this lady, she seems legit. She sold so much stuff. She has so much stuff that already sold. and. So I don't know if they're moving or what, but she's selling everything, like everything's being sold. I'm excited. I'm, I'm excited. Um, but anyway, yeah. She's also selling, if you're in the DMV area and you like my um, coffee table for the dining room, I mean for the family room, it's called the Timber ta um, coffee table. I also have an end table, but she's selling, I think an end table and a coffee table as well. So check her out on Facebook Marketplace. I believe her name is Lindsay, last name Beale, B-E-A-L-E. -E. So just look for Search Z Gallery and it should come up if you're in the DMV area. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. We're going to get my table and I think it's going to be great. I have not started the stenciling project because stuff just keeps coming up every weekend. So, But we're at Costco now, so I'll talk to you guys later. Okay guys, so this is what they have at Costco. It's the two pack for the day and then one nighttime one. It was $13.49, so that's a good deal. Thank you for shopping. So that's what we're gonna get. Ain't that right, Ray? 
Okay guys, so we realized that the triple pack of the Zarbies cough medicine that we purchased baby girl 20 minutes ago from Costco was not the baby. So I'm gonna save it. Um, and then I just went to Target and I got the baby one because she, um, the other one was for one years and up and she's only eight months. So I went ahead and got the baby one. Um, and we also always get the double pack with the immune support because I just put this in her bottle, you know, just in case. I also had to re-up on some Gerber baby food because you guys know I can't cook right now because the kitchen is being done so I got her a lot of things that she has not had before so this one is banana apple pear I got her that one um, I also got her apple blueberry I mix these with her yogurt sometimes in the morning and sometimes I just give it to her as a fruit she loves it I got her chicken noodle dinner which is different she's never had that one um, I also got her apricot mixed fruit she's never had this one so that should be good in her oatmeal um i also got her vegetable beef dinner she's never had it and the last one that i got her is turkey and rice um so yeah all of these are new to her so this will get her through probably like a week a week and a half um and yeah so for all of you who we're asking me, do I still make her baby food? I do, but because we're having the kitchen remodeled, I can't I can't really be in the kitchen doing stuff. So um, I had made her two weeks worth of food and Big Mama went through it before two weeks was up. But now we're in the third week of the renovation. So I've had to just exclusively use the, um, you know, the, the, the Gerber stuff. Um, so yeah, it's been fine. She's fine. She's not a picky eater at all, but this is what I wanted to show you. Um, it does say baby on it. That's the one we need for her. And Ronnie and I just got some IHOP, so he just got back with it. Okay, y'all. Quick Ross haul. The other day, um, I was in Ross and I got these mixers. Have y'all tried these? This is the mojito one. We still need to get some, I think, mint leaves or something. I think that's what you put in mojito. But anyway, I saw that. They were $3.99 at Ross. And then this one... They had strawberry key lime margarita. They also had a plain strawberry one, but I didn't get that one. And then I got baby girl some sneakers, which I thought were, I thought these were felines, but they're not. They're, where'd you put her shoes at, babe? Huh? Those shoes that was on the steps. I told you just don't put stuff in her room because you lost her other shoes and now we don't know where they at. This one is going to go in the playroom. It's just like the playroom rules and it has all of the primary colors. It was $9. So I got this. And then I also got a round marble cutting board for $8. Because I think I want to display it in the kitchen somewhere, but I'm not sure how. But this is round. And that's all I got from... Ross. We're loading up the fridge with all of the drinks that we just bought from Costco. So that's really all we have in the fridge is drinks now, pretty much. Oh, I wanted to tell y'all, if y'all haven't tried these, if you're on keto, they're really good. It comes in a variety pack. So they have mango, black cherry lemonade, regular lemonade, and strawberry lemonade. And they're really, really good. They're alcoholic though, FYI. The regular ones are okay, but they taste way more like seltzer to me, which I don't like. Um, so yeah. So they are gonna get started on the backsplash today. And this is the pattern that we're gonna try to go with. It's the herringbone pattern. This tile is from Lowe's.com and it does have the Insta set sticky stuff on the back, which was an issue because they said they didn't know if they could add it extra adhesive to the already sticky adhesive that's on it to make it you know permanent um and then this this tile is not forgiving meaning it doesn't bend with the wall because it's mirrored so we'll see um but we have five boxes two more came the other day and then we have three boxes in the garage so this is going to be the pattern hopefully I'll keep you posted but everything looks good so far we have to they still have to we can't find our touch-up kit, which we need. So I'm gonna have to call and order another one from the cabinet place. And then, you know, all the cabinets will be wiped down, you can tell. Um, I had to go and get two of the shorter 
um, handles from inside of the store because these 12 inch drawers, they were too, the other ones were too long. So these ones fit and then we just bought another two so that I have another backup. Um, so these are for this drawer and that drawer over there. And then all the handles are on, so it looks really, really good. The cow molding is up. If you can't tell, it looks really, really good. Um, so, yeah. Okay, y'all. So, I have a collaboration with the company coming up. And they sent me all of the doorknobs for the main level of the house. For part of the upgrade. This is the hardware for them. But these are the ones I chose. And I'll probably do a reel with these on Instagram and then incorporate this in a YouTube video as well. But this is what we chose and it looks so good. It's so sleek. This one does have the locking mechanism on them. There is a, there is a two pack somewhere in the box downstairs that is just a dummy. They're dummy ones and that's for the coat closet. Um, but this is what we chose. This is the lock right there. It's just like a push lock. But that's what we chose we really love it it's really modern compared to the brass stuff we have so now i need to um order the hinges because as you can see our, all of our stuff is brass so i need to order the hinges off of amazon i just needed to measure them so yeah these look really really good so they sent me five of these locking ones and then one two pack of the dummy ones that look just like it except they don't lock and that's for like i said the coat closet and that's it because it just came in a two pack ronnie just put ronnie just put his mom's pac-man together I'm putting his food together right now got it from walmart she's a pac-man queen apparently she's doing pretty good she's on level two already Woo! okay guys um let me put my mic on for you guys Hold on. Take the other one off the box. Okay. So we just got home. Today is still Monday, um, April 12th. And yeah, so let me show you the progress. Hold on. Um, so they started on the backsplash. It looks really, really good. They have to go all the way to the end. I don't know why they didn't just start on this end and go down there. I guess because they wanted it to be a straight end over there. But whatever. We couldn't do the herringbone pattern because these tiles wouldn't cut. So this is how they're putting them on. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I gotta get some mirror um, plates for this so it'll blend in. But we definitely, we just decided to go with the subway pattern just because it was a big deal. And then we had to get two of these, the smaller ones, to fit on these two small drawers right here and over there. So we have those, they still haven't put those on. Hopefully tomorrow they're gonna put the pendants in. This is one of them. I gotta go downstairs and get some lights for it. I don't even think we have enough lights, so I need to get some more. Um, but they've done that. We also have to tomorrow go get the um, touch-up kit because we can't seem to find the one that we had, which I know it's going to turn up as soon as we don't have it anymore. They still have to put the wine fridge in and they still have to do the toe kick around the entire perimeter of the cabinets. They also have to put in the under cabinet lighting, I think. Um, and then I think they have to finish putting in some outlets, but I'm not sure. Oh, no, they put them in. You see the outlets in there. That's for the under cabinet lighting. But then we're going to still have to drill a hole through the bottom, like through the bottom, and then use like the vacuum hose to get all that out. Um, and then they spray painted the um, wine glass holder. It's going to be mounted underneath that. Um, and then what else do they have to do? Like I said, the pendants. They, fin they installed these lights today. Ronnie's going to have them put them on the dimmer because he says they're way too bright. These two um, recess lights are on a dimmer. They look really nice. They've already put that in, back in. Um, and they moved this outlet over because it was like right up against the, um, pan the wood paneling. They fixed this. Over here, they had to move this outlet onto the baseboard because we 
upgraded to the five inch baseboards and it was in the way. So they did that there. They did it in the office uh, um, for two of them. And then they moved that one above the baseboard as well. So they just have to put a cover on those. I don't think they have the covers for these anymore. Or are they in the garage, babe? The old covers for all these outlets? Oh, so we have to get some more. But that one is round. Yeah, for the under cabinet lighting. We're going to use the one at the bottom that we're going to use for the um, wine fridge because it's two down there. You're supposed to put one down there for the wine fridge. I told him put one in each of the four cabinets on the island. And then I told him to put one, I think, in this cabinet. Was it this one or was it this one? I don't know. It was one of these cabinets. I told him to put it in and he didn't do it. So we have to tell him tomorrow. Um, I'm not sure. But anyway, um, we also asked for an estimate for them to paint the laundry room and this mud space because Ronnie went back to work today. So time got the best of him. And then we also need them to fix this door because it doesn't close anymore. And I don't know what they did, but it doesn't close anymore. So yeah, let me show you in the powder room. Um, Ronnie installed the light fixture and we put the daylight bulbs in. He still has to put the mirror in here. I think that's Ray's um, diaper rash cream. So this is the outlet. I told you guys we got the new vanity in. It looks really good. Um, and we have the new toilet in. And then this is the light fixture. It looks really good. He just has to put the big mirror in. Um, so hopefully we can do that tomorrow. And then that's all that's going in there. I may get one of those like towel bar things and stuff for in there, but that's all we're gonna do in there for right now. This is the other pendant light. So I think that's gonna definitely finish the space once they hang the pendants. I just have to remember where I want them. I didn't want them as close together. No, I gave it to him today. We only bought the same blues called Title. Yeah, because he got the caulking there, right? Is that the caulking he put on top of the paint? Huh? On yeah, he must go fix it. What you give them? What you say? Hey, practice. <coughs> I just have to, <coughs> they crack my thing, so I have to get another one. I order another one on Amazon. He asked me for the blue paint today. I went downstairs. We had a little bit left in the can, and then we had a whole gallon. So I just gave him. You just switch that one. Put that one on the couch. Okay. But I'm probably ordering another one anyway. And then I, I did. I told you guys I ordered that bonus thing that you guys were telling me about for the floors. But this is the update so far. It looks really, really good. So, guys, they also put this panel on back here. I don't know. He insisted on putting the panel on. He said it was going to look so much better than the wall. They're going to have to put a piece of molding, a strip of molding over there, and then um, put the the baseboard. Yeah. Yeah, so they'll have to do that. They did add us the outlet right there. Um, but yeah, it's coming together. I like it. The faucet is in now. I don't know if you guys saw that. Ronnie already started putting dishes in the sink, but the faucet is in now. Oh,